What's going on everyone? It's that time of the year and in this quick review I'm going to go over some basic features of my Sunjo telescoping chainsaw so you'll know what to expect before buying. The first Sunjo product I bought was about three and a half years ago and it's this pressure washer. I've had no problems with mine and because of that was looking for a reason to add another Sunjo tool. I have two palm trees and both of them are now at that height where they're too tall to reach from a ladder without feeling like my balance could be an issue. So I decided it was time to buy a telescoping chainsaw. Since I don't have any other trees on my property, I can't comment on how this handles cutting small to regular sized branches, but as you'll see, this cuts through palm tree fronds like butter. This is the corded version and a standard two prong extension cord is all you'll need to start it up. Pressing the safety button and then the trigger provides instant power with no adjustable cutting speed. You'll know when you're about to hit the trigger wall once you feel resistance after it's been pulled halfway. Definitely not the quietest tool from my garage, but uh, that's one area I'll have to compromise considering its price. The padding helps reduce vibration and is still in great condition after two years of use. The option to angle the chainsaw is available, but I mostly keep mine straight. In the closed position, from the end of the blade to the end of the handle, measures roughly 6.5 feet and 9.5 feet when fully extended. Overall, it's fairly lightweight, but to me it feels heavier than the website description. It isn't noticeable in the closed position, but can take some practice to maneuver when fully extended. Similar to my Ego Trimmer review, I'd say the taller you are, the easier it'll be to control. Most of the time I can reach the branches from the ground, but sometimes I will have to use the first step of the ladder to get near the top of the tree. If possible, try to cut branches using an upward motion starting from the underneath side. This will help you avoid accidentally slipping and cutting into a healthy branch. Yes, that's happened more than once. A small amount of chainsaw oil should be enough to easily cut through a few dozen branches before refilling. I'm still using the original blade and doubt it will need to be replaced anytime soon unless I start taking on larger projects in the future. The Sunjo electric pole saw not only looks solid, but also feels like it's built to last and has become one of my favorite yard tools. Oh, and I keep mine on this wire shelf when it's not in use, but it could also be stored vertically. Depending on the color option, they seem to float between $65 and $80 from Amazon, which I still think is in a competitive price range. Simply put, the more things you have to cut, the more valuable this will become over time. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out the product reviews playlist and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.